Hello, YouTubers. I'm Vanessa from Vans, Van, and Travels. I'm attempting to do a van tour for you today. I don't know how well that's going to go because I'm not very good at maneuvering the camera and walking around and without spinning you around, and I refuse to do that. I'm getting ready to head out to Parker, Arizona to the van build. And I'm so excited about it. But after being out on the road all summer, it just makes me know how much more I need to be prepared than I was before when I left. I did okay because in the summer you don't really need that much. And you can get away with very little clothing. But I don't know exactly how cold it gets. I know it gets cold in the desert at night. And um, that's okay with me, I think. <laughs> I'm not real sure. Um... I'm going to be at the van build. I think it lasts for either, I know two weeks, I think 14, 16 days. And um, after that, I'm going to go to California to visit some family I haven't seen in ages. Some of them I've never, well, some I haven't seen since they were babies. But uh, the grandbabies and all that have come along, and I want to see them while I'm out there that close. And... Um, I don't know if I'm ready or not. I've been buying a bunch of groceries and uh, just for backup stuff, I know I'm going to have to be buying fresh fruits and vegetables and uh, water and stuff. But everything I can pack in here, I'm going to so I don't have to be running into town. I heard that um, the closest store was like 20 miles away. <laughs> and that's not bad, but I, I, I don't think... Um, the store is open during the summertime at all, just during the winter, so it can't be very well stocked with everything. So I'm getting prepared, and I'll show you later what all I've been buying. Um, I wanted to tell you that I'm. everybody's been telling me I need to get insulation, and I need to do this, and I need to do that, and everybody's probably right. But I'm doing this one day at a time, and that's the only way I can do it. And a lot of people are asking me, aren't you scared? No, I'm not scared. I've never been scared of anything in my life. I'm more scared of staying at home. And uh, right now, I'm scared of freezing to death here in Indiana. I'm cold right now. It got down to 33 last night. I got a big fire going in the house, so I should have warmed this fan up before I got in it. But anyway, I'm not scared, and normally uh, you're never alone anyhow. You're with people, and I'm with some of the nicest people in the world, and I, I didn't meet anybody on the road by myself or with anybody that was trying to hurt anyone. And if you turn on the news here at home, that's all you hear about, just about. So I'm pretty excited about going out there. Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm trying to think of the name of this place outside of Phoenix where my friend Joe is from. And he did my, uh, he's the one that did my solar. Him and Nick, and I don't know Nick's last name. I don't know if I'd say it on here anyway. But um, I'm going by to meet Joe and then for a few days and then on to Parker from there. And I'm hoping that it's not going to be... Um, real crazy with this van tour. I'm looking around trying to figure out just how I'm going to do this with one hand because I tried it the other day and it didn't work out very well. <laughs> you would have you been uh, getting a headache from the way I was spinning the camera around. So it's probably going to be just a quick van tour. There's not that much in here to see anyway, but I know everybody wants to see how you live and where you sleep and all that stuff. And then after that, I'll take you in the house and show you some stuff I have in there where it's warm. And I'll show you some groceries I stocked up on. Uh, people from Facebook are really helping me out, telling me about dehydrated food and um, all kinds of stuff to get that you don't have to. Well, I'm going to cook no matter what I have, but um, just stuff to get you by without having to go to the grocery store a lot. I have a hard time sometimes doing videos. I'm okay if I'm by myself. I'm new right now, so it's a little bit different. 
but um I was talking to my sister this morning. We, if she was here, we wouldn't be able to do a video because we'd just be rolling on the floor laughing, and we wouldn't know what we were laughing about. We'd just be laughing. <laughs> uh, my family all plays music, all of them but me. I can tap on the piano a little bit, but my dad played guitar. My sister, she plays uh, piano, organ bass guitar a little bit accordion she can play about anything so with my nieces and great nieces and nephew so we grew up in church playing and singing and my cousin larry was in spain in the army and he came home with a big huge reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder he wanted my daddy and me to sing some songs and daddy playing the guitar so he could take it back <laughs> to spain with him and we we tried and tried and tried and every, and we would practice the song and just do perfectly and then when we got ready to actually record the song we just laughed and he never did get to take a um tape back he was kind of mad about that but he was standing there laughing with us i don't know why we do that but we do I'm not so bad anymore because I'm older and I have a few more aches and pains in my body, so it's not so funny anymore. So I'm going to step outside now and show you um, the outside of my van, and then I'll bring you in and show you the inside. This is my van. It's a 2014 Savannah GMC 2500 cargo van. And up above there, I have 750 watts of solar that my friend uh, Joe Silva from Arizona installed. He does a wonderful, wonderful job. And I so appreciate him coming up with the uh, idea of the ladder racks because I never thought about that, even though I've seen them on other vans and RVs. But that kept him from having to drill holes through my ceiling. This is the back of the van that's not full yet because I, you'll see in a minute what I'm getting ready to put back there. I was going to show you um, for the people that are not really up on all of this van life stuff, um, how we cover our windows, most of us. And it kind of insulates it but I use it just to simply block out the light so I can sleep. I bought a roll of Reflectix. It just peels right out of there and on my windows on the savannas there's a little um, a little opening I don't know what you call that going all the way around there so it just kind of slides right in there which makes it real nice. Uh, some of it I decided to get real fancy and cover it and put cardboard behind it. You can see the green back there. I put cardboard, I mean reflectance and then cardboard and some cloth, but I'm tearing all of that out. That fits on my front windows. And here's my 100 AGM, 100 amp hour. I don't know about all the amps and the watts, but 100 amp hour AGM deep cell battery. <laughs> That's what it is. And over behind it, I've got it kind of softened over there so nothing can bump up against it. My pure sign inverter, um, 1500 watt with 3000 surge, power surge. And my um, charge controller. There's three breakers on that. And I, I know you're looking at that big chair in there, and I'm going to show you my, my sleeping area. First of all, here's my... Maybe if I crawl up in here. You can, okay, here's my um, cooler. It's a 55... I almost said 55 watt. 55 quart capacity cooler and it does keep ice for seven days I have kept it ten days before when I left here and went to um, Colorado let's say I left here 
and it took me a couple of days on the road sleeping, and then in Colorado Springs a few days. And in Flagstaff, I still had ice on the 10th day. Um, that's my little 10, 12 volt TV. Um, it's not, that's not its permanent location. I got a, a TV mount, but Joe's going to remount it for me because I didn't know what I was doing. And I got the bolts and screws all stuck up in there and couldn't get them out. So he's going to fix it for me. And then up behind my seat, I put a, just a cheap um, shoe holder. In fact, I had to cut off some of the holders because it was too long, but that's just perfect for putting silverware, spatulas, lighters, and all that kind of stuff. And none of my stuff matches anymore. I did have it real cute in here, but cute doesn't. Doesn't matter anymore when you want to be comfortable and you want to plan for a long, long trip. These are just some little organizers. The little green one I got at um, Walmart for 11 or $12. Over beside it is just a little pan from the Dollar Tree with a few bowls. And uh, I've got a little skillet and a little pan inside. I've got a bigger one I'll show you that I use mostly. And the green dresser there with the six drawers. I hope I don't fall out of this van backwards. Uh, that held, the right side held all my summer clothes in it this summer. And on the left side, I had a few groceries and paper plates and stuff like that in there. But this winter, it's going to be full of clothing. And the chair... This is the best thing I ever bought in my entire life. If I was going to stay at home, I would just have one in the house and one in the van. Let me back up so I can get you in there. It makes all the way down to a bed. I've had neck and back surgery, and I have never had a bed that was just completely comfortable. And that's the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me. I absolutely love it. I bought it at Big Lots. It wasn't that ex expensive for as nice as it is. I gave $399 for it. And there's room for me. I sleep on one side. My little Chihuahua, Bobo, sleeps on the other side. And he doesn't like me touching him during the night. So it's, it's plenty big for both of us. I have a little Mary Kay organizer. Okay, and here we're on the last fun part right now. <laughs> Here's my food items that I, I bought just to stock up on to have extra stuff. Because the, the event I'm going to, I don't want to have to leave and be running to the grocery store. Um, a lot of non-perishable items. I've never bought uh, canned chicken breast in my life, but... I've had friends say it was pretty good. And this is another thing I never dreamed I would try. I thought that would have to be so nasty. Is canned tuna salad or chicken salad with crackers. But I bought some just to try it. And it was absolutely, it was good. I won't say it's delicious, but it was good. And just some spaghetti and meatballs. Some of my little cousins on Facebook telling me I need fruit and veggies. Well, this wasn't a fruit and veggie day, Kay. This was uh, for stock up stuff. Um, bungee cords, canned uh, fruit cups, and yeah, I had two boxes of moon pies. I can't resist moon pies. I grew up in Mississippi. We kind of grew up on those. But anyway, I'm going to show you my camp stove. Most of you campers and hunters know what this is all about, but I never had used one before. I use um, canned butane. There's a, a little slot right here. You just, it couldn't be more simple. That's really why I wanted to do it. There's a, a little lever there, if I can do this with one hand. But I don't think I can. Okay, maybe. 
I don't cuss either, but I'm kind of wanting to do that now. That little thing won't go in that hole. Okay, there we go. All right, the reason I'm showing you this is because if you're like me and you're a little bit forgetful, this, this is real simple to use, real easy. But when you, after you, before you, well, when you, let me just show you how you light it. You lock that in, turn it all the way around. Yeah, you can see that it's lit up. Okay, when you turn it off, you lift this up, and that's all the directions tell you to do. But my friend Letty has a friend that um, she she does like catering and stuff, and she she told her to be sure to always take this can out. Every time you use it, I'm just telling you for a safety precaution because I've never been hurt by it, but there were a few times, I think like two times maybe, that I forgot and left this little thing down. So when that's down, this is this goes into a little slot right there, and that butane can um, ease out of there. And then when you turn your uh, igniter on, it can just, I mean, it can blow, it probably would have blown up in my face had I not had my tea kettle sitting on it. And this little thing I got from Amazon because my camp stove was right by the, the door in the van and the wind's always blowing in Flagstaff, I think all over Arizona. So that kept from blowing my flame out and it keeps grease from splattering everywhere. Whether you're inside or outside, I don't like grease. So that's all I have for you today, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it didn't sound um, real crazy because I, oh, I, I did want to tell you one more thing. I bought this big skillet because I got the craving um, stuffed bell peppers, and I always thought I had to have an oven to make bell peppers, but I just put a little, little bit of water, maybe quarter, half inch, up there and stuff my peppers and put that lid on it put it on low heat for about an hour I had bell peppers so that's that's a multi-use skillet for me I have a smaller one I use for like making breakfast and stuff but anyway I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and may God always bless you